What a world we live in. Today on Logan Lee Adventures is all about sea salt in our hair and sunshine kisses on our faces as we sail to Tyrona National Park in Colombia. Just look at how beautiful the city on the Caribbean coast of Colombia is. Buenos dias! We're starting the morning off at the beautiful Santa Marta Marina. So gorgeous, such a gorgeous day. As per usual, look at this. Blue skies everywhere. Anyways, we're walking, heading towards all the yachts and boats because we're going to do a sailing trip today to National Park Tairona. Obviously, y'all coming along. Boarding our boats now. Look at all these other cool boats on this boardwalk. Ah, our boat is called Sonata. Is our boat. It's gorgeous. Here we go. There's just something about being out at sea and on a sailboat that's so thrilling and freeing from all the wind in our hair to the anticipation of heading to a place unknown. We here, pulling right up to the beach. Don't mind me, I'm just having my little sailor boy moment. Going to take it all in from the top. We made it! So the water here was completely so choppy, but it was such a thrilling ride. You can see hair completely blown into the wind and there's like still some salt residue left over everywhere because of like the big splash that we were facing. But it's so nice now because the water is so calm and there's a little cove along the Tyrona Park. Was it rough or was it like normal? Well, right now, during this week, it's like this, this warm because we are passing like a cold front. Like, cold, like, from the side to side. Oh, it's the front. Yeah, the same, yeah. We take you on a tour. This is the front of the boat. So cool. Okay, let's head on down to the cabin of the boat and see what's down up here. Cabin is so cool. I love how this boat is made out of like this beautiful wood. You can see the little windows out here. It's so cool. And in the kitchen area, they're prepping a little barbecue lunch for us later on. Show you with all these fruits. Ah. 
Can't wait. All right, let's head to the beach because that's what we came here for. Let me take you on a tour. This is the front of the boat. So cool. This boat is so cool because it's decked out with set up paddle boarding that you can do, snorkeling equipment, some lounge chairs here. This is where we sat during this wild ride. It also has some mesh for some shade up here. And it's actually huge. It's like it goes all the way down. This is what we're gonna have for lunch. Some barbecue fish. Ooh, sizzling. Much better. So cool to just barbecue right yeah. on the boat. Especially <laughs> surrounded by this beautiful water beach. Now we're going down. <laughs> Now we're off to the beach. This cool little boat transfer. This little cove that we're in is called Bahia Concha of the Tirona National Park. So the Tirona National Park, you can actually get there through gracious different means. You can hike there or you can do what we did and sail here. But either way, there's multiple different beaches to explore. And this is just one of the beautiful gems here. All this water is impeccable. I'm not even a beach person and I can just spend all day here. This is so, look, how, look at this. This is so beautiful and the temperature, perfect. It's maybe 31 degrees out here, but there's like a light summer breeze. Yeah, I'm gonna go with it. It's salt water hair, baby. And then the water temperature here is just so soothing and nice. Oh my goodness. I love it. This is truly a slice of paradise. I know the most popular way to get to this beach is, well, to get to the National Park of Tirona. So a lot of people do the hiking, right? Like, they take the Colectivo to, the Colectivo is like the shared public bus, which is like this cute little minivan, almost. And then you go to the National Park and then you start the hike. But if you can, I definitely would do a sailing trip here because it's just, so spectacular and you're already right into the national park through the sailing it's a rough pass there sometimes uh, but so worth it and then once you're right into the park you have all of this and it's quite as you can see where the crowds they ain't any because we here i love it i love it so much this is so relaxing like Colombia is just incredibly diverse and continuously surprised me with how diverse it is between the beaches, the mountains, the coastline, the Caribbean coast where we are right now. <sighs> get this. I mean, I get it. I can just spend a little windy. A little salty, a little sandy. I can just spend the rest of my days here. Ah, look at this. Well, I have to get one of this. So good, guys. Pina colada on the beach. Literally straight out of a pineapple. You know I'm getting one. At this drink. Oh, pina colada.
Bon Appetit, friends! Oh my gosh, look at that barbecue fish! Freshly caught as well! Woo! Now this is a nice beach lunch. My ship away. Now we have to head back after a beautiful day at Tyrona. Hop onto our little boat. Hello. Hello. Uh, gracefully. Very smooth. <laughs> back onto the Sonata. Now going back, we're going to be chilling in the back because those choppy waters, I know they're waiting for us out there. So we're going to just sit back at the back of the boat and just chill a little bit compared to sitting in the front this time. Today was truly a wonderful way to unwind. We didn't do much but sail, eat, drink, and... Okay, wait, hold up. Isn't that just the best things in life already? Sails are getting raised for sailing. Now as we head back to Santa Marta, we have one more leg left in our Colombia trip. Can you guess where that is? Leave a comment below, give this video a like, and subscribe to my YouTube if you haven't already because in the next vlog, it's our final travels in Colombia.